So, how do you fold your puffer jackets, your down jackets? Should you fold them, or is it better to just hang them at home? First of all, I would strongly recommend that you hang your puffer jackets whenever possible. That's because when you fold them up, especially if you fold them tightly, you're gonna compress the down or the stuff that's inside these pockets. Most of them have down. You have some cheaper ones, especially that will use uh, synthetics inside these little pockets as well. But in either case, what's gonna happen with these things is when you compress them really hard, is that the down is gonna get damaged and it's gonna kind of split out from these little nice pockets that they're in. And in worst case, actual pockets that stitched in here are actually gonna rip apart as well. That's gonna ruin your jacket over time. It's gonna ruin the shape of it and it's also gonna reduce how much it actually insulates uh, the jacket itself. So what I recommend, if it's possible at all, I would hang them in your closets for storage, especially long term. If you're gonna wear them every day, it's simple to just put them on a coat hanger, just a regular coat hanger like this, and you can store them in a closet hanging straight up and down like this. Now, I do realize for some that this isn't gonna be feasible, especially not in the summer seasons or seasons where you don't actually use the puffer jackets, where you need that room for other jackets. So I want to show you a good way that you can fold the puffer jackets that's not gonna damage it much over time and talk a little bit about how to store them folded up. So before I show you this, I want to mention that I have made a video in the past on how to pack puffer jackets. Now, I'm gonna link that video up here in case you're looking for how to pack them. Those solutions are gonna be very harsh on the puffer jackets, so that, those are definitely short-term solutions. That's gonna help you compress the puffer jackets down quite heavily. Obviously, that's not gonna be good over time. So what I want to show you here instead is just a quick and simple way that you can fold up your puffer jackets while still keeping them uh, nicely together so they don't unravel. They're pretty slippery usually. So what we want to do here first of all is zipper up the puffer jackets, all pockets and uh, yeah, zippers. If you have a hood, you can just fold that down like this, straight down. Now we're gonna take the arms, and I'm gonna fold it over to the opposite side like this. Repeat with the other arm, overlapping the hood and the first arm. Now what I like to do next here is to take the bottom of the puffer jacket and I'm gonna fold it up in half so that it reaches the area with where the arms are pretty much. Now what I like to do next is lift up this section and I'm just gonna very gently stuff the top pair into the bottom. That way it kind of locks in place and it's not gonna unravel. You don't wanna stuff it super hard in here, just enough so that it doesn't like fall apart. And something simple like this, it's really not gonna wear on the jacket much because it's very, very gently folded in here. Now for the actual storage of this jacket, what I would recommend that you do is that you put it on top in, for example, a drawer or for example, on a shelf. You don't want to put something else on top of it that's gonna squeeze it down because then you run into the problem again, right? That all the feathers or down inside the jackets is gonna get compressed and destroyed over time. So definitely place it on top. You could even consider using something like a laundry bag or like a dress bag and put it inside so that it doesn't like get uh, full of dust over the winter season. If you have made a mistake of folding your puffer jacket up super tightly, or if you have compressed it, maybe you've taken it traveling and you're starting to see that it's getting damaged, one thing that you could try to do to repair some of the damage is to wash it. Now you want to do a quite gentle wash. Another alternative would be to put it in a dryer with your other clothes just for a little bit, maybe 10-15 minutes. Just fluff it back up a little bit and that should help as well. Um, if you want a free cheat sheet on how to fold your clothes effectively, great ways to save space and organize your clothes, you can download that over on my website as well. Entirely for free, organizing.tv slash hacks, I've called it. <laughs> so you can also tap that little box right here. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>